that's why I said you could use mommy's phone. Y'all, look at this hair. This is, look, residue. This is an attempt of a wash and go. Um, I've been looking for this thing for years. I recorded this, but then I don't want to upload it because it was a failed attempt. I'm telling y'all, every time I try to record a, a wash and go, it's a failed attempt. The banging wash and goes I do get, it's when I um, don't film them. And, and honestly, I can only get really good wash and goes when I'm sitting in my hair in the shower. Anyway, y'all, hi, how y'all doing? It is Tuesday, we're at JB School. We're here very early because I'm gonna talk to the teacher. Um, Thank you for all the comments I got on my last video, by the way. And yeah, girl, I've calmed down. I've calmed down after speaking with um, just not only just you guys but my husband like i said my best friend and some other people who are educators <clears throat> i'm random as hell i started thinking about yeah. some things we could do why did you open up this butterfinger now i have to eat it i have no other choice <laughs> mm. oh yeah i had to drop off jb look oh lord let me put this right in front of me does that work better Hell to the no. Hold on, y'all. I know. You, are you sick, girl? Are you sick yet? All right, there we go. Um, drop this child off. I'm back at home because I need to I need to um, do something. I need to do something, girl. So, spoke to his teacher, which it was very hectic this morning, as it is when they do drop off. It's very busy. And because JB doesn't do a half day, I really can't speak to her. The only, I guess the only time I have to speak with her is in the morning time. So I let her know. I said, you know, um, this is JB's book. Uh, we got finished reading it. We've been, because they have to take books at home and read the sight words. Yes, girl. They're reading at, you know, barely five years old. So I'm like, okay. He read it, which at this age, they're memorizing. Okay. He's looking at the picture and he's, he's memorized what the book is about. Fine. So she's like, okay, great. He can read it back to me. I said, okay. So I said, just to let you know, we do a lot at home. I'm like this close to homeschooling. And she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I said, yes. Um, JB is more of a hands-on learning. Yes, he's high energy like most five-year-olds. But he, you know, at home, he could get through. you telling me that it took an hour to do a worksheet at home. He could get through a worksheet. Worksheets. He could get through five or six worksheets in 15 minutes. She's like, well, that's probably because he's not distracted at home. I said, oh, he's distracted at home, absolutely, but it's more one-on-one. -on -one. And to your point, it may not be, be as many distractions, but it's more one-on-one, -on -one, which I absolutely understand that that's not feasible here in the classroom setting when you have other children to tend to. Not saying that. Long story short, girl, she was not really listening to me. And I get it. She was busy. There was other parents waiting in line to talk to her. She was not focused on what I was trying to say. Why am I talking loud? She was not. She was not really taking in what I was trying to tell her. So I just. I was like, okay, well, um, he's not gonna be able to send an hour to do a worksheet, basically. So I'm gonna have to talk to her a little bit one on one. Maybe I could go pick him up early one day. That way I can speak with her while she's leaving for the day. Because, um, oh, you know what, y'all? I'm not even doing any of that shit. I'm sorry. And I know I'm, I'm trying not to curse. My baby will only be there until May. So I'm not going to blow up this teacher. Not, not that I was going to. I'm not going to do all of that when he's only there to May. Is that all the cookies? Hello. Hey, love. Hey, girl. What's up? Mm, love. Did you know that the Dollar Tree sells famous Amos cookies? Wow, dude. Uh, breaking news. Um, <laughs> thank you for that. That's what I want to do. Absolutely not. I don't want to do shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't laugh about that. I'm sorry, honey. So, are you looking for a job right now? Yeah, I've been looking like for the past like three months. So, is it there? There's is it there? No jobs out there, or there's just nothing that you would want to do? All this stuff is stuff I really don't want to do. Okay. So, so you've invented something. To, yes. And look, I'd rather invent this and hopefully make a gajillion dollars than let me work for someone. <laughs> I just don't want to do these jobs. Okay. Okay. So instead of submitting your resumes to well-known companies, you've been sitting your ass at home trying to think of an invention. Is that what you're telling me? No, not think of one. I already had it. 
<laughs> okay, I'm not laughing. I'm not, that wasn't a laugh. I promise you. Okay, so okay. why don't you tell me about your invention? Hey, you guys. So I'm talking to you. Clearly, I just got back from the grocery store. Um, I, got, I got a new speaker. You got a speaker. Okay, baby, but I'm talking right now, okay? Thank you. Got back from the grocery store. This cost me a bit, you know. Not not $100, but almost there. But this is pretty good for almost there. But let me show y'all something. When I see, I don't know about you, but when I see meat on sale, I stock up because we only eat chicken and fish. So especially when I see chicken on sale, I stock up. So we shop at Fry's. And they have these chicken tenders, all natural chicken breast tenders. Original price was five dollars. They only sell for two two bucks. I got at least six packages of those and drums because, like I said, that's what we eat. I have probably about two packages of chicken in there right now, so that'll be enough chicken for about three weeks, enough meat for three weeks, and of course, I get fish throughout the week. I got catfish today because I am making red beans and rice, y'all. I've been craving red beans and rice, girl. My husband doesn't eat beans at all, so it's gonna be for me. I'm only gonna make enough for two or three days. I'm gonna put it in a crock pot. Now, red beans and rice, is a Louisiana meal. So I'm not gonna show everything because people go hard from Louisiana. And I don't blame y'all being a, a native Texan. They go in on folks who don't cook food the very traditional way. Now I do it as traditional as possible, but I'm throwing it in the crock pot. That right there ain't traditional. But and tomorrow we're gonna go to an indoor playground. I'll probably film a little bit there if I haven't mentioned it already. Since JV is an only child, y'all know I plan out my weeks. I have my month planned out. Everything is planned out, planned out up until April, you know, mid-April, basically. So, as an only, as an only child, I try every now and then to invite people, my neighbor's kid, and just people that from his old school. I really haven't met anyone at his new school, so I sent out a text message Monday. It is Friday, Monday. I said, hey, JB and I are going to Makuta's Island just to let you guys know anyone want to join us. Why did these help us just now respond today, the day before? Oh, we have plans. We can't go. Does anyone want to do something after uh, after Easter? I'm like, uh, that's, I said, no worries. So that was just me reaching, reaching out, like I said, since I remember we went to... Uh, and I, felt, I felt so Friday. bad. This was the only time where I really considered having it's another Friday child. Friday in my distance. We went to an indoor trampoline and JB was there and it was just another set of kids at a birthday party. And it was him and a birthday party kids. And so they were, they all knew each other clearly. And so they were going to each, you know, little activity, jumping bouncy house. And some of them were playing with them, the smaller kids. And then it was time for them to eat and sing happy birthday. And JB was just sitting there on the sideline. And he, and then they all went to go play another game because it was for the birthday party. And he actually started crying, you guys. I felt so, again, that was the only time I thought about it. But yeah, I'm too old. One, I'm too old to, I have gotten questions, do, would it, are you gonna have any more children? The answer is no. One, I'm too old. I'll be 38, That's I, and I was a high risk. How I had are you? 38. 38? I'll be 38 in August, I'm 37 now. It is I'm not medical, it is not recommended. Recommended medically, and I listen to my doctors. Yes, I can. I can go to God and pray about it and have Him to bless me. But I know me personally. I don't want no more kids. Okay, I just started sleeping through the night. Thank I'm good, girl. We good. Me, Mama. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for blessing you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't bless you though. God did all oh, you do. You so sweet. Mm -hmm. did Huh? I did bless you. Uh -huh. I prayed for you at night, right? That's a best blessing. So the baby don't have any nightmares, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all, my baby, sometimes when he's having a hard time sleeping, he'll, I, it almost makes me cry now thinking about it, but at the time, I'm sleepy, girl. I'm like, whatever it takes. So he'll get up, like when he's gotten up several times, finally he'll get up and he'll say, can you come pray for me? Like, I'm like, absolutely, baby, but I need to make that a habit. Okay, I really, out of the mouth of babes, right? I need to make that a habit, too. He said, oh. <laughs> yeah, and that 
It works. I, that's right. Pray it works. See y'all? Out of the mouth of babes. Prayer works, baby. You are a living testimony of that. So I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to make basically prep some meals for the next well, basically up until Monday using only one package of chicken. Yes, I know. I just said I have about 10 in there, but girl, I'm trying to save. So I don't have to eat meat every day. My husband, in order for him to feel full, yeah, 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 he has to have meat. So one package of chicken, three meals. We have here some steamed green beans, some carrots that are getting old. So what I'm going to do is cook these two. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna cook all of this chicken at the same time. I'm not gonna put any seasonings on them because every meal is gonna be different. So for this one, we're gonna do barbecue chicken tenders. I'm gonna give my husband a couple of slices to go with his meal. I'm not gonna have anything. I'll probably have some green beans and this and like a little bit of the salad that's over here. Second meal, actually this is gonna be four meals. Two different types of two different types of um, salads. I have the spring mix here. And for one salad, we're gonna have spring mix with the olive oil and vinegar, Parmesan. Put a couple of strips of the chicken on here with some Italian seasoning, a little bit of sal I mean carrots, a little bit of tomatoes. The second type will be an Asian style salad. Same get up, tomato salad, carrots. But we're gonna do one ton strips. I'm gonna do... Okay, baby, I'm gonna do the sesame. Okay, baby, the sesame pear chang sauce with a little bit of chicken. And then the last dish is not gonna have any meat at all because we're done. There, that right there, we've used the chicken now three times. Um, nothing, no no meat, excuse me. So we have bow tie pasta, pesto sauce, some spinach. Here's my chicken going away, and I lied, girl, I lied. I ended up putting some spices on it to make it a little bit easier. My bow tie pasta is over here bubbling away. Got some carrots over here. I'm speeding everything up. Everything's on high because I want to hurry up and cook. Got the skewed the background, and I have the vent on. Went ahead and seasoned my spinach. Um, here's the salad, the Asian style salad. Now, I went ahead and made my own dressing using the sesame sauce. All I did was add about three tablespoons of that half a teaspoon of the sriracha sauce and some olive oil. So I'm gonna drizzle this on top of the salad and I'm gonna toss the chicken in this and then top it with these wonton strips. That's meal one, this is meal two and three. Um, and yeah, you guys, I'm gonna do three meals instead of four. All right, so my chicken's over here done. It only took about 20 minutes. And like I said, I went ahead and added some seasonings. I have my spinach over here. Spinach is gonna be a side dish with the carrots and some barbecue chicken. And it's um, it's also going to be going into the pasta. Look, baby, if you ain't no experienced cook, don't do this, because you may confuse yourself. But I've been cooking since I was 13, so I'm having fun doing this. That's why I like to cook, y'all. Um, all right, I may put some half and half in this, only because, I don't know, it, it depends on how it is, how it turns out. Um, we have pepper flakes. Yeah, we like our food, our food spicy and seasoned. I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. And while I'm doing this, since I have the cutting board out and it's about 10.30 now, I'm gonna go ahead and put, put all of my ingredients for the uh, red beans and rice in a crock pot and that's gonna cook by itself and can do nothing. So really, I technically, technically do not have to cook. It's Friday. I don't have to cook till Tuesday. So, all right, you guys, so here are my ingredients in my crock pot. Now, first of all, like I said, this is not authentic red beans and rice. This is just what I wanna do real quick. First of all, I am using dried beans, which I did soak overnight. I would never use canned beans for red beans and rice. That's just me personally. If you wanna do that, whatever. This is some off-brand kidney beans, but the good red beans and rice is made with that bagged, what is that, bagged, uh, Camellia red kidney beans. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. It has like a rose flower on the cover, yeah, that's how you make it. But anyway, <laughs> I have in here some bay leaves, the Holy Trinity, which is, hold on baby, which is bell pepper, onions and celery, two garlic cloves, onion powder, garlic powder, a jalapeno, um, a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Y'all, that Louisiana Cajun seasoning, I don't know about y'all, but that is way too salty for me. I typically don't cook with that. I bought it just for this dish and I probably would never use it again. It'll probably be in the back sitting there. 
um because it's just too salty because of that i will not be adding an additional salt to that to this because sometimes salt can mess up the beans anyway i'm going to go ahead and pour the broth on top of this i'm going to put it on low i do have some andouille sauce in, in here but since it's already cooked i'm going to add that to the very end ronnie typically you also which i probably will do I would be sauteing my sausage so it'll get crispy and good, and then I'm gonna put it in here. Same thing with the vegetables. Saute those vegetables. These weren't sauteed. I would saute my vegetables and put them in a crock pot. The fact that I'm using the crock pot to tell you is not a thing, but like I said, uh, whatever. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Friday. I decided at the last it's minute. It's Friday It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. All off key too. So, um, hold on. Let me let up the window so the bl blur, blur, blur. Um, thank God, y'all. It's been a long, long week. I feel like it's been a long week, girl. Let me turn on this music. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, but I've gotten a lot done this week. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go shopping again, y'all. I've been shopping so much. It's not even funny. I'm gonna show you just some all the stuff I've been. <laughs> Ain't funny. Um, mm -mm. And it's, it's funny. It ain't funny. Ain't funny. So I've gotten makeup and makeup and makeup. I have so much makeup. All right. So <clears throat> spent. Oh y'all, what is wrong with my throat? Every time I try to talk to y'all, <clears throat> spent a little bit more than I had intended on. But I bought two palettes and I bought JB two pairs of shoes. So <clears throat> I spent. <laughs> $70. That's really not too, too, too bad. $70 for the two pairs of shoes and two big, big makeup palettes. I'll show you, you guys what they look like. But look, I'll have to show y'all after I get home and take care of this situation back here. This child, like I've, I've mentioned to you guys before in the video, in some of my other vlogs, the look, the threatening does not work for JB. Let me tell you what this child did. First of all, I let him know. I, I, I give him the rundown like most parents do. When we go into the store, don't touch nothing, don't look at nothing, don't ask me for anything. Listen to me. As Soon as we get in there, he's walking off. I said, JB, I know exactly what I want. So please, let's just, it will take me less than five minutes and we'll go get your shoes. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so upset right now. So he's not listening. We get up to the checkout because I don't know why they didn't have a lot of checkout girls. There's a line. Okay, finally get to the checkout. <sighs> he makes some noise. I don't even know what the hell it was. And somebody laughed. Why did he keep doing it? Disturbing. When we got into the car, I went off on him. I didn't put my hands on him, but I let him know he can't do that in public. You can't, you can't do that. That is absolutely unacceptable. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna touch him. I'm gonna take stuff away from him because that's what works with JB. Taking stuff away. That Rubik's Cube is mine when we get home. Whew, y'all, this boy. Girl, I had to pull the old school, I'm calling your daddy. Which I did. Now, when I have to call your daddy at his job to tell him about some shit you pull, you know it's serious. There's consequences for acting up like that. He said, no, he needs to spank. And I said, well, you can do We're going to go old school. I'm a good cop. You bad cop. I already took away one of his toys. He cried so hard about me taking away that toy that he's on the couch now about to fall asleep. <laughs> so, y'all, on the way home, I'm sure y'all what I bought. On the way home, he actually apologized. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, on the way home, he actually apologized. After all the crying and stuff on the way home, he's like, I'm, I'm sorry for being bad. Yeah, I was quiet, cause I was so, I was still mad, I was so quiet. All right, y'all, so let me show you what I bought. First of all, <clears throat> I bought this purse. Isn't this purse bad? I saw her, yeah, I, I, I named my, I, I referred to my purses as, uh, you know, females. Um, I saw her at Ross two weeks ago. She's bad. She's bad. Look at that gold trim. Bad, bad, bad. And I was like, you know what? I'm 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 gonna wait. Because I don't know if I can get you right now. I'm gonna wait. So originally it was sixty six dollars. Sixty six sixty nine. I got it for thirty nine. Bad, bad, heavy. The um a heavy purse, good quality purse. It's um Mark of New York. 
very very heavy very heavy i mean it got some weight on it but then i also purchased this yellow blouse that i wanted to pair up with these blue pants here but hold on let me show you if i can <sighs> here um Leia Gordon is closing out her shop and she actually, I don't know how this girl does this. She was just talking about, oh, I'm going to do a, um, a skincare, not skincare, makeup line, her own makeup line. This heifer already has it out. Now, this is not her stuff, but this is the stuff from her beauty budget. So I purchased... Y'all, this is all makeup I've been purchasing. I need to really do something. This is what I bought today. <laughs> After saying all that. I've been eyeing these Morph. Is it Morphe or Morph? Y'all, I don't know. I've been eyeing these palettes for a while. So, girl. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So, y'all, my go-to. I don't care. I don't care where I'm going. I love gold. I love shimmer. So, you have the gold on this side. And then you have the matte on this side. Isn't this bad? Isn't this beautiful? It's on the side. And I was like, wait a minute. Do you guys have it? She's going, yeah, we have it available. I said, well, I don't know which one to get. I said, well, help. let me get both of them. Let me show you. And I'll list, I'll list the names of these. Out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Let me get, let me get in the light. So you, look at that. Isn't this beautiful? Girl, this is the hardest when they said this was the hardest job, look, if you don't have any kids yet, this is the hardest, non-paying, no damn benefits, no raises <laughs> job ever. I got me a glass of wine. I'm going to sip on that. Eat me some cookies. No, I'm not going to eat any cookies. I got to fit in this dress. <laughs> I'm not going to eat any cookies. But y'all, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I was going to take y'all with me to um, the indoor playground. But y'all don't want to see that. A bunch of kids. Girl, especially after today. I don't want to see it. So, that is it, you guys. I'll see y'all next week. Take care. Bye.